SAP CPI PI Interview Questions and Answers What is SAP CPI PI? ANS SAP CPI PI is a cloud-based integration platform that connects cloud and on-premise applications seamlessly. How is SAP CPI different from SAP PI? PO ANS SAP CPI is cloud-based, whereas SAP PI PO is an on-premise middleware solution. CPI supports modern protocols like REST and OData. What are the key components of SAP CPI? 1. Integration flows, iFlows, 2. Adapters 3, message processing 4, monitoring and logging. What are the deployment models available in SAP CPI? 1. Cloud 2, Hybrid 3, on-premise. What are integration flows, iFlows, in SAP CPI? Ends iFlows define the integration process, including message transformation, routing, and processing. What are the main artifacts used in SAP CPI? 1. Integration Flow 2, Value Mapping 3, Script Collection 4, Message Mapping. What is the difference between API-led integration and event-driven integration? Ends. API-led integration focuses on service exposure via APIs while event-driven integration reacts to real-time business events. How do you handle error handling in SAP CPI? 1. Exception subprocesses 2. Alerts and notifications 3. Message logs. What are SAP CPI adapters, and name a few. Ends. Adapters help in communication between different systems. Examples. 1. SFTP2, SOAP 3, REST. How do you configure an HTTPS connection in SAP CPI? Ends. By using the HTTP adapter with authentication, basic, OAuth, or client certificate. What are different mapping techniques in SAP CPI? 1. Message mapping 2, XSLT mapping 3, Ruby, JavaScript mapping. What is data store in SAP CPI? Ends. A data store temporarily stores messages for processing or retry mechanisms. How does the retry mechanism work in SAP CPI? Ends. It retries failed messages based on configured settings, e.g., time intervals. How do you debug an I flow in SAP CPI? 1. Use message processing logs 2. Enable trace mode 3. Check the integration flow debugger. What is the role of tenant management in SAP CPI? Ends. It helps manage users, security, and monitoring of deployed artifacts. What is a content modifier in SAP CPI? Ends. It allows adding, removing, or modifying message headers, properties, and body content. How do you implement a splitter in SAP CPI? 1. General Splitter 2. Iterating Splitter 3. Eddy Splitter. What is the aggregator pattern in SAP CPI? ANS. It collects multiple messages and processes them as a single unit. How does OAuth authentication work in SAP CPI? ANS. OAuth tokens are used for secure API communication instead of basic authentication. What are the different types of Groovy scripts used in SAP CPI? 1. Message transformation 2. Exception handling 3. Logging. How do you secure data in SAP CPI? 1. Data Masking 2. Secure Store for Credentials 3. TLS Encryption. How do you optimize performance in SAP CPI? 1. Use Streaming for Large Messages 2. Minimize the number of mapping steps 3. Avoid unnecessary logging. How does message versioning work in SAP CPI? ANS. SAP CPI maintains multiple versions of an I flow for rollback and tracking. What are Enterprise Integration Patterns, EIP, in SAP CPI? 1. Message Routing 2, Content Enrichment 3, Message Transformation. What are some best practices for SAP CPI development? 1. Use modular and reusable I flows 2, Enable monitoring for all integrations 3, Follow secure authentication methods. Mm -hmm.